21, calculate the delta S notch for the following changes. And then we have H2O liquid yields H2O gas. Okay, so delta S, remember a delta triangle is change and S is entropy. So we're looking for that change in entropy. And remember, entropy is just talking about the randomness of molecules. Now, if we just look at the two states that we have, since, you know, H2O is the same, I'm going from something that is less random to something, gases, they're all over the place, right? So since I'm going from something that's more ordered to less ordered, aka more chaotic, I know that my delta S value has to be a positive value. So you could always kind of like double check by just looking at those states. Now we just have to find out, well, what's the actual value? Well, anytime that you see a notch, that means standard. And that means you got to go in the back of the book to find out the actual appendix values for each compound. So that's what I did. I went in the back to find out what the delta S values were for H2O liquid, which is 70, and H2O gas, which is 188.8. And how are we going to use those numbers to find out the actual answer? Well, the equation is this. Your delta S for your whole entire reaction, RxN reaction, is the sum, that's this little squiggly line. So the sum, aka addition, right? You're going to add up all your delta S's of your products and subtract it from your delta S, the sum of, right, of all the reactants. But now, how do we know if we're going to keep these numbers or, you know, change them up? Well, it just comes from your coefficients. But in both H2Os, I don't see any coefficient in front of them. That means that I just had one of each. So whatever your delta, your S value is at the back of the textbook, that's what you times by your coefficients. But in this case, I'm both timesing them by one because you had one for each. So in this case, the answer, you know, the numbers aren't going to change. This is still going to be 70.0, and this is going to be 188.8. And you only had one product and one reactant, so that's the total for each side. Now we're just going to include these into our equation. And it's always products minus reactants. So let's go for it. Delta S for the reaction equals products, which is 188.8, minus the reactants, which was 70.0. Let's solve delta S for the whole entire reaction. We get a positive value, so we, you know, we, are, we hypothesized correctly. 188.8 minus 70, I get 118.8 units are what the units are standard in the back of the textbook, which is joules per mole times Kelvin. So you could put your slash this way, you could put your slash this way, it means the same thing. And that is your answer. So you're gaining an entropy as you go from reactants to products. Okay, really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you in future lessons. Bye-bye.